Bradley Stalder here with Player Profile, and I'm here to bring you the boldest projections from the projections team here at Player Profiler. So without further ado, we're going to bring it to you. But first, remind you that we crushed it for you in week number nine. Jacoby Myers, baby. Jacoby Myers, yes, we said he was going to be wide receiver 20. Expert consensus was wide receiver 29. He was wide receiver 17, a great flex play. And we expect Jacoby Myers to be a great flex play for you moving forward the rest of the season. And we'll move forward to week 10 in this segment. The first player I want to talk about, Josh Downs. Josh Downs, expert consensus wide receiver 18. Michael Pittman is out for this week. Player profiler projections have Josh Downs at wide receiver 8. That's right, wide receiver eight. And we've seen Josh Downs hit this mark two times so far this season. And that's when he falls in the end zone. He gets the red zone targets. We've seen seven red zone targets so far for Josh Downs. And that's the key is the targets, the target share, the target rate. Josh Downs, number five among wide receivers in target rate, number 11 in target share. He's getting the targets even before the Michael Pittman injury, you've got Joe Flacco hyper targeting Josh Downs. This is the pathway to a top eight finish. We should play Josh Downs with not just moderate wide receiver two confidence, but high wide receiver one confidence wide receiver eight. That's pretty fun. It's going to be great plugging Josh Downs into your lineup, getting the targets and with more targets comes more red zone targets. Josh Downs on the season, wide receiver 20 in red zone target. So he's getting those throughout the season, even though he plays mostly in the slot. So fire up Josh Downs in week 10. Another player that you want to be firing up in week 10 is wide receiver Khalil Shakir. Expert consensus has him as a back end wide receiver to wide receiver 24. Player profiler projections have him 10 spots higher at wide receiver 14. Khalil Shakir, yes, he plays somewhere between 55 and 65% of snaps for most games. But we look over the last three weeks, 7, 10, and 7 targets, 4 red zone targets over the last three weeks. So we're looking at a player who's finished wide receiver 18, 10, 35, so we want to be in on Khalil Shakir. There's questions about what is going on with Amari Cooper's wrist. The wrist may be a problem for Amari Cooper to not only play because he missed week nine, but also to be a productive player. So take out Amari Cooper and Khalil Shakir, who has been getting targets throughout the season, a regular contributor to the Buffalo Bills, will be getting even more opportunities So fire up Khalil Shakir here in week number 10 it's it's a positive matchup against the colts so fire them up the final player for this week again these are players that we don't think the market is responding to accurately regarding the injuries to their teammates and that is especially true for austin eckler Austin Eckler, the expert consensus wide receiver, a running back 30, and he is running back 30 on the season in fantasy points per game. But most of that is without, you know, is with <laughs> Brian Robinson. So Brian Robinson has been getting the majority of touches, except for last week. We look Austin Eckler running back 13 last week. Yes, 50% of snaps and only five routes. But we want to be in on Austin Eckler due to the volume of touches, right? 11 carries last week with Brian Robinson out, four targets. This is what we wanted even back in week six. The only other week that Brian Robinson missed, five targets, nine carries. So 14 opportunities, running back 25. So we're like running back 30 is more of the floor. We want to be targeting guys who can hit a ceiling. And Austin Eckler has shown to be explosive. Eckler ranks number one among all running backs in receiving explosive rating per player profiler and number 15 in rushing explosive play rating and number 31 in explosive plays. He's number 31, but a limited snap share until 
until Brian Robinson's out. So fire up Austin Eckler as more of a running back two because of the volume and not a running back three. We are accounting for Brian Robinson being out. Fire up Austin Eckler as a running back two. All right, everyone. Thank you so much. You can follow me on X at FF Stalder. If you like the content, find it helpful, smash the subscribe button. Until next time, good luck in the fantasy football streets in week 10.